Hello everybody, this is Sharon. I'm homesick today, so I've been working away on a little craft here for the store. And um, I made this big clothespin with the steampunk, and I didn't, and this is graphic 45 paper. I did not have the whole packet, I just had this one paper that had these beautiful ladies on it. So I cut out the ladies, and these are like circles. So I put the circle one on the top there with the beautiful green paper in the background. And then this one on the bottom. There's a lot of greens and yellows and browns and oranges. So I put this recollection orange trim on the side. And then I've got a yellow orange flower with a green and these are both uh, Prima and then little yellow orange bling there and then I have Say It in Pearls and these are uh, like a brown tan color and I've cut them apart so I can use those so that's that side and on the other side, I have this one. I just love these ladies. And I put the trims on opposite sides. And then I have this lady here. Aren't they just gorgeous? And I painted the whole pin first with this green metallic paint. Then on the inside, I put music paper, and I ran out of the ladies, so I had this other stamp set, and I put this lady in there. And then this is a Stampin' Up stamp of a figurine, and then I put the little butterfly there, and then I used my um, old music paper from the 70s so it's naturally discolored and then I put Mod Podge with glitter over both and some Say It in Pearls and then on the other side I cut out the beautiful flower that was on the paper and it was a little bit longer so I cut the leaves and then stuck it under the flower and it fit just nice. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then stuck some pearls in there. And I even stuck under here but you can hardly, you can't really see it. Only if you looked inside you could see there's something there but not really something you can see. But I didn't put anything on the sides. I figured I mean I could put some bling but I like it simple on the sides. What do you think? Should I add some bling or leave it nice and simple? And so I'm thinking of maybe making a little file folder and then they can use it to put their little notes in there. It'll be a nice little note holder. And price wise, I've, you know, all the stuff I use is at least ten dollars just for that and then with the time what do you think for a price should I put it like um, fifteen dollars in the store do you think that would be a good price uh, help me with the price okay I'm thinking fifteen dollars to price it at for the store tell me what you think all right, thank y'all for watching. Take care. Bye.